So how do you come up with new ideas? I mean, when you say you do this since quite a long time and still you have a couple of experiments online each week, do you still have enough ideas? Where do they come from? Um, well, so we've tried quite a few strategies. Um, okay. We've done user interviews at one point, which okay. as helpful as it is, it's mostly qualitative. And mm -hmm. just because like if two people says that they don't like something doesn't mean that we should actually run a test around it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So that strategy actually wasn't super great. Um, but we, we also have tools like Hotjar where we can see how people mm -hmm. interact with our pages. We, okay. have, um, we have a built-in, uh, like uh, something we design in-house where we, tr we can track mm -hmm. the scroll distribution. Um, and like, I think ultimately, like what really helps us is that we look at numbers because mm -hmm. we have like, we have acquisition KPIs to work with. Mm -hmm. For example, if I see that there's an article where the CTR is not super great, the sign-up rate is good, but the mm -hmm. purchase rate is low. That tells me that there are certain things like it's actually the, the best way for me to know what's missing from the article. So maybe okay. that means like the angle is not really great enough. Um, mm. uh, or for example, we didn't make it clear enough what exactly people be getting within our app. So people didn't want to pay. Um, mm. But that's like the best way for us to know in which direction we should move. Mm. So okay. like, yeah, like for example, we just, uh, I actually just came out of a meeting with uh, a colleague of mine where we identified that with, a, with one article where we had like, a, I don't know, like a, a not a really great uh, sign up rate, but the purchase rate was super good. And that told us that basically, in, uh, based on like how much we were spending on this article and what the ROI was, it told us that we just needed to run one game changing test mm -hmm. on this article okay. before, before it becomes like super profitable for us. And this okay. is how we, how we know which direction we should move. And okay. then like they like my colleague would just go and brainstorm a bunch of ideas on like she would look at the article and just see, okay, so I need I need the sign up rate to improve by 20%. That's pretty big. So I'm not going to iterate on things like um, changing a quote, for example, mm -hmm. or changing an image because these are not really, they're not game changers. It's something huge mm -hmm. that we need to do. Like for example, mm -hmm. maybe we wanna, we wanna start talking about our founding story in the article, which could lead to a 20% increase. But like okay. these kind of, so like basically we use numbers these kind of metrics to inform us on how many tests we need to do, uh, what percentage of uplift we need, uh, which tells us like at what level should we should be running this test. Um, and yeah, like we know what it's successful when we can suddenly spend twice as much on this article and be Great. successful.